Daniel, you know what makes me angry? What is it? <laughs> Fake followers! <laughs> Welcome back to another video from the old modash.io YouTube channel. You must know that's where you are because you ended up here. One of the most interesting things I learned as we built Modash was how many brands are working with creators that have fake followers and just setting money on fire. And these are marketers in really interesting, clever firms that do really great projects. The problem is just that they don't know that every creator has a few robots and that some of them have a little bit more than others. So today I'm going to show you a quick, easy way to check for fake followers and talk a little bit about why you should. We built this little free tool you can use actually. Uh, it's actually been going viral on TikTok, which is really interesting. You can find this tool by slapping Modash fake follower check in your Google search box. Of course, if you're anti-Google uh, and ChatGPT doesn't tell you where to find it, then the link is in the description below. So once we arrive here, all you gotta do is slap a username in here. Let's go with The Rock. Uh, we just stick his name in this little box and click enter. There we go. His fake follower percentage is 24.17. So we can tell based on this that 86% of his audience is real, normal people following as they usually would. Now everybody has fake followers and anything up to 25% being fake is totally reasonable, normal, not a sign of uh, any suspicious behavior. We wouldn't recommend working with people who have more than 30-35% uh, fake followers. Of course, it depends also how well they reach their audience, how big it is and how much they cost and all that stuff because if somebody has 10 million followers and 30% are fake but the other 7 million people are super highly engaged, rabid fans who will buy anything they say, then it's gonna be fine. It just complicates things when you're working with lots of creators and fake followers is a easy way to shortlist um, the high performers. Now, I know this number 25, 30% might not mean much to you really. I mean, conceptually, it's hard to wrap your head around uh, what that really means as far as campaign performance. So the way I like to think about it is benchmarking between creators. If you log into Modash, it's free to sign up. We have a little free trial, easy to use. Um, and we stick his username in this little box again. Um, you can learn a little bit more about what it means that The Rock has that many fake followers. In fact, you can see right here that uh, benchmarked against creators similar to his, he lands directly in the middle. So very, very average of him to have that many fake followers uh, at his number of total number of followers. Now, what that means is that you're not going to find another person of that size, not many people uh, of his size with fewer fake followers than 25% than or so. The question we always get immediately after explaining this concept is where do these fake followers come from? And they come from all kinds of places. Uh, some of them are spam advertisers. Some of them are just old inactive accounts that, that don't do anything. There's a million reasons why people create fake accounts and then follow uh, lots of profiles ad nauseum. It doesn't necessarily mean that that creator has purchased followers. So if you do find somebody with lots of fake followers, then it's best to just give them the benefit of the doubt. You don't need to confront them and say, you purchase followers. It's just that for some reason or another, they have attracted lots of bots. That's that. Have a beautiful day. Check out Modash. See, see if your creators have tons of fake followers or not. Consider watching some more videos on the channel about metrics, like engagement rate. That's a good one. We just filmed it. Little meta intro for you. Bye.